Hello everyone, welcome to Ton Time. Today we will be unboxing the NZXT Kraken Z53. I will probably make two videos, one of the unboxing and another video after I have it installed so you will see what this item looks like. But this video is going to be strictly for unboxing purposes only. So this is an AIO, it's an all-in-one liquid cooler for your CPU. So it's got two fan, a radiator, and a nice um, um, little uh, graphics uh, LCD screen uh, where this will sit on top of the CPU. There's a 2.36 inch LCD screen that can display up to 24 bit color and you could customize this with the NZXT software. So um, that's all on another video, um, but this one, I just wanted to, uh, let's just go ahead and do the unboxing. So this is the retail packaging here. So very simple looking. You got NZXT on the top, nothing on the bottom really. And here is uh, specifications in multiple languages on the side here. And then uh, here is the technical specification, which I will put a link below in the description um, so you guys can see it a little bit better on their website. So, yep, that's the retail packaging. So, very straightforward, nice looking. Got the NZXT colors on here and their logo. So, let's go ahead and open it up here. See what comes inside this kit. So, I'm going to... I'm going to open this up here completely so this works this i'm going to put this on the lga 1700 as um cpu but it also has brackets for AM5. If you have an older model, I believe the newer ones are going to put the new uh, LGA 1700 brackets in here. But if you have an older one that doesn't have it, there's a form on their site that you could just email them and they'll, uh, I believe they'll send you a bracket for that. But I think on the newer ones will now come with it. Okay, so let's open it up here. You're met with the instruction once you open it up. So we'll take a quick look at that. And there's an egg carton style packaging in here. And this is how it's packaged. So everything's nicely placed in here. So you got the radiator here. So you got the radiator and the CPU cooler packaged all together so you don't have to worry about adding fluid in there it's all sealed in the system so don't have to mess with water since it's an aio and then you got the fans here i believe these are all your mounting brackets and your wires so that's everything added is egg carton so let's go ahead and take a look at the radiator itself So it's well, well packaged here. So I gotta kind of finagle the plastic liner here. So here, the paste is already on here. So you don't have to worry about adding thermal paste. Although if you want to use the aftermarket one, you have to clean this off and then apply it on the CPU. So you see copper base down here. CPU uh, thermal paste is already applied on here. This is where all your graphics display will be. So your CPU will sit obviously under here and then um, you'll see uh, the uh, LCD color display here. However you like, you could put temperature settings, pictures, it's fully customizable with their software. And this is their radiator. So it's got the mounting points here for your fans, which comes with the kit. And this is the radiator here. So pretty nice looking radiator fins. Looks good. Looks like it's powder coated black. And you don't have to worry, like I said earlier, you don't have to worry about liquid. So here, this is your radiator and your CPU cooler. 
in one unit here. Okay, so let's look at the fans. So it comes with two fans. So this is a little compact cooler. Some coolers are bigger. Um, it has three fans. Some are thicker, depends on, depending on uh, what your system setup is. So this one's, I'm building a fairly small compact system, so I didn't need anything too big. And these are the fans, NXT fans, so it looks pretty good. Fluid dynamic bearing on here. So it's pretty, runs, uh, the, it spins pretty smoothly. Then you got your connectors here. So you get two of these, one and two. 120 millimeters it has chambered intake and fluid dynamic bearings so yeah and it's they're designed the fins a little bit bent here i guess it, it helps improve improve airflow so they got their little um special designs there and then these are the wires to hook up your aio I believe, let's see, this looks like it's a, uh, I think this hooks up to a USB header and this hooks up to a micro USB uh, controller here. And then you got your um, power, SATA power for the fans here that you hook up. Four pin connector using SATA power. And here, is your hardware so this one actually has an intel 1700 bracket as you can see so you got your mounting hardware so this is probably for all the for mounting your fans onto the radiator this is your a4 standoffs for your cpu this is a standoff for intel 1700 and these are the brackets that you would use for whatever CPU you're using, as you can see. And then this one is uh, just looks like uh, thumb screws for the CPU. And these are the stand. Uh, these are the brackets for which if you're using Intel or AMD. And I believe the brain of the unit um, you would hook up. Uh, you would use a USB header. Uh, to, uh, to read information for your motherboard and then it hooks up micro USB on the side here and this one has a connector here that you would plug in along with your fans and say the power to power up your fans and uh, this device as well so you got your signal and your power uh, readings right there so yeah um, that's everything in the kit pretty it would be pretty easy to install you just mount it wherever it mounts on whatever case you're using. And you just mount the fans on, put this onto the CPU, and then you're pretty much done and determine which CPU you're using. I'm using the Intel 1700, so I believe it will use this one um, as well as uh, this kit. And these would just this one would just be extra. So yeah, um, that's the unboxing of the video. Beautiful looking product. All black. I like the all black look. Um and the LCD display, I'm really psyched about that. I, this is my first AIO with the LCD display. I'm running a Corsair one on my other computer, but it just has a Corsair logo on it. So that would be fun to have. And yeah, uh, this is the unboxing video here. And um, that's pretty much it. And this is the instructions on what to do. It tells you all the uh, component lists. So it folds out to a big old instruction. So it tells you what you have here. So yeah, the Intel bracket, square one, and what to do here. So it's got kind of IKEA-like manual. Um, and you can also read on the bottom too and tell you uh, how to install everything in. So yeah, so fairly, fairly straightforward, fairly simple. Those are the thumb screws I showed earlier. And there, that's how you would uh, hook up your fans and you hook that up hook up fans to read your cpu fan and say the power and all the connectors here 
So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. This is just strictly unboxing so you can see what's inside the box, uh, what you're getting if you decide to go with this kit. That's pretty much it. So voila. If you like the video, you know what to do. Thank you for watching like always. And I will see you in the next unboxing video. Peace out till next time.